Good morning, Trinidad and Tobago, and welcome once again to the Boss Report. You would note today that uh, we would be using some new technology, and the technical crew has been fantastic. Any faux pas would be mine. Let's talk today about three banks. Nine month results from three banks have come up, and they are NCBJ. Uh, Republic Bank Financial Grouping, and uh, First Citizens. You would see on the first graph, these we are showing the results for the nine months in each case. Based on the fragile economy, um, what you would see is that some of the banks have shown marginal increases in results, but let's look first at NCBJ out of Jamaica. And their results show reasonably good story where if you look at the nine months 2015 as opposed to the nine months 2016 to the right of, of your screen, you would see that earnings in that nine month period in TT dollar terms increased from 18 cents to 22 cents and dividends have gone up from seven cents to eight cents. Let's see, when you look at what has happened, you would see that Net interest income has been up 8%, and total income as well has been up 8%. But profit after taxes and earnings per share have gone up quite substantially, as you would see, as well as dividends. The main story with regard to NCBJ applies to what has been happening with its acquisition of 29.99% of Guardian Holdings Limited, and the issues that surround that and the matters that have to be addressed as far as that is concerned. It is in the public domain. There's not much to say further than. I'm sure that the matter will be dealt with um, wherever it needs to be dealt with in the regulatory sphere, if needed. So let's now turn to Republic Financial Holdings Limited. And what we see with Republic Financial Holdings Limited is again, very much in the case of the all three banks are marginal increases, but more so in Trinidad and Tobago, where you have seen um, in terms of the third quarter 2015 versus the third quarter 2016, uh, a flattening in terms of income. When you look at what has been happening in its overall contribution to income, you would see that Trinidad and Tobago still continues to be a very significant contributor or the most significant contributor to uh, operating income, even though the bank has pursued diversification efforts in terms of its acquisition of the RBC operations in Suriname, as well as its increased holdings in HFC in Guyana. Further to this, the bank has acquired an additional 19% stake in terms of Grenada, yet still, as I said, a major contributor for 2015 and 2016, 75% and 67%. This is shown very much in terms of the table here and in terms of the earnings per share and dividends per share. Much more details about these can be given or are given in our, in our website uh, when you can go to bossinvestment.com for far more details about what's happening with this particular this is the story of first, again, its nine months results. And you have seen in its nine months results how the earnings have shaped up third quarter 2015 over third quarter 2016. In all cases, what we have found is uh, that, as you would see here, uh, expenses as well as income have gone up but pretty much in tandem. Earnings per share just up 2.1%. Uh, you would see 20 15 as opposed to 2016 with regard to first. Let's turn now to what's happening with first dividend PE and dividend trends. You will see going back to 20, 2013, going up to trailing 2016, there has been some growth in terms of the earnings, but the PE multiples have, have trended downwards, as you can see, up to 20. Uh, 2016, but dividends have been growing, dividend yields up to 4%. Good story, resilience of the banks, yet still, as we say, 
um, the challenges of a fragile economy is going to have some impact in terms of what's happening. Let's look at the multiples within the banking sector. The multiples really speak the story of price versus earnings per share. The higher the price to earnings per share means a higher valuation of the company as opposed to a lower valuation. So when you look here, you see NCBG at 9.4 times. And 9.4 times gives some headroom, both in the Trinidad and Tobago space where the average is 19.9 times, 9, .9 times, as well as in the Jamaican space where the multiple is 8.2 um, uh, versus the headroom that is required where the, 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 the sector is 9% nine times and the multiple is 8.2. All the other banks are at or about this um, marker, the average PE multiple, the public on the side and first citizens here. Those are some of the stories that we have to say to you and look for us in the newspapers as well as look at our website, Boss Investments, when you will get more information, more detailed information. This is the, has been the Boss Report, and we go to commercial break and then come back.